R. Kelly is not missing a chance to be a jerk, actually, because now that he's going down, he's trying to take everybody and their mama out. Now, it's been reported that he uh, plans to barter with prosecutors to provide names of multiple celebrity pedophiles in which one is a huge singer and a rapper. Now, the insider stated that his team are working with the feds to reduce his own prison time. He'll provide evidence against other celebrities who are pedophiles and they'll reduce his sentence. So you've been knowing, R. Kelly. You, you've been knowing that you were part of this pedophile ring and you got your friends out of pedophiles. And now that you're going down, now you want to tell. But when you saw them doing it, it was all good. Let you me tell you something. Ain't shit. He ain't going to want to be in or out. Yeah. Right? That kind. Of, of behavior because when I tell you people don't like pedophiles and people got to let them you know he got to let them know when you move in the neighborhood so that mean everybody gonna go aha that's where you at and that's who you are so it's not gonna behoove him to be out in the world where people can really get to him or inside where people can get in him I mean get to him too and he's a snitch snitch when a snitch gets stitches ain't that what I say all the bitches snitches get oh. stitches mm-hmm. guys I, I got to tell you. Uh-oh, don't cry. I'm not going to cry. I I think he has really um, been misjudged here. I don't think he needs to be in jail. I think he needs to be in an insane asylum. Oh, okay. All right, Real here we go. Oh, yeah. You made us nervous I, for a second. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. I think he needs to be in a straight jacket. I think some of the behavior that has been going down has been erratic. And I think that a lot of black men in in jail have been misjudged. Like a lot of, I had a friend who went went to jail a long time ago. He said his roommate was so damn crazy. He said it was, he said that went on a lot in jail because what they do is they throw black men in jail. They just throw everybody in jail. If you're crazy, if you kill, if you're just everybody go to jail. But this dude needs real help he needs to be in an insane asylum <laughs> insane asylum <laughs> real talk like in a on meds like drugged to the point where you know like like constant therapy like it's just it's too much it's too much well it's see if he much. get on drugs now it ain't happening now like he ain't doing nothing now it only happens when he see a 13 year old or he been on him. he just wasn't taking him. That's what the people said. The people said the man had Bible drugs. Don't keep him his eyesight correct and off of them. Like, uh, 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 I just think he needs to be in an insane asylum because he's crazy. Because of mental health issues. I think he has mental illness. I think he's a narcissist. And I think he has mental illness because you're very narcissist if you think, if you all this time, you had this information on other people that were hurting people. And then it wasn't until you found out you got in trouble that now it's pertinent. But that also means you didn't ever think that you were guilty of anything. Oh, yeah. You yeah, never thought you, you were going to get caught. That's crazy. I feel like he's going to get hurt. I feel like he's going to get hurt. Vivica, what do you think about this? I'm asking you because you look mad young. And if he was out, he'd probably be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I tell you the worst part is that one time he did ask me to uh, introduce him at an award show. So maybe I looked too mature back, too mature back then. I'm just <laughs> glad I didn't end up in the harem. Um, it's just, it's a sad end of, 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 of the chapter. Like, wow, here we go. You get convicted last week. And now this week you like, I'm telling, I'm telling. It's some other people out there I'm going to take down too. I mean, it's just, you know, it's erratic. Of asking for help or maybe trying to help others from, from where you are, from your experience. Now you're going to snitch. And, and, and I'm curious to know how he knows about these other pedophiles. Did right. They, and you they, ain't said nothing all together? this time. Were they, were they doing it together? Were they, yes. were they pedophile parties? Were, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, damn. And well, now it's, you just made yourself right. look even worse. Right. Yeah. Mental illness. That's a psychopath. That's mental illness. Narcissism too. And narcissism at its finest. It's off the chain. Oh, I hate to do this to our brothers, but they are in the news, so we got to cover it. Just so y'all know, disclaimer, the queens are not against black men. We're against black men and white men and white women and just anybody that people. harms other yeah, people. I'm not against R. Kelly. I'm, I'm not against, I'm just against what he represent and what he did. You know what I mean? So, you know, he is a personal friend, but I, I, I have to admit as a mother, 
as a young black woman. You know what I mean? I, 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 I'm not down with it. Do you I still consider like him a friend now, even with all this that's going on? He did it to me. So, I mean, you know, our, our friendship hasn't changed. I haven't spoken to him in a while, you know, um, but I mean, I, I pray for him. Absolutely. I do. Cause he going to need it. Mm, he's a mess.